Carillon. We're standing here at the front door and you see this terrific bas relief of Thomas Reese, the benefactor of the Carillon. My name is Robin Austin and I have the great privilege of serving as the third person to hold the position here of Carillonneur, one who plays the bells. So welcome, let's go inside. We're here inside the memorial room, which is the first floor of the tower. I'm standing in front of a handsome plaque here with a poem by Thomas Rees. He wrote this in 1922 when he visited Antwerp, Belgium, the famous cathedral there, which includes the Carillon. And we believe it is this early inspiration that inspires Thomas Rees to leave a bequest to the Springfield Park District to build this incredible Carillon. We're here on level four of the Carillon, and here, thanks to the generosity of the Reese Carillon Society, we've been able to build bookcases and files for our collection. One of our recent acquisitions that we're very proud of is this architectural model. This is actually the original architectural model dating to 1961, and it's been generously donated by John Clark and his family. We're on level five of the Thomas Reese Memorial Carillon. The tower is actually 12 stories high. I'm standing in front of the largest bell. This bell weighs seven and a half tons and is dedicated to Thomas Rees. Another great fact about this bell, when it was cast in 1961, it was the heaviest and largest bell ever cast by the world-renowned bell foundry of Petit and Fritzen in the Netherlands. We're very proud of it. We're on level eight of the tower, and this is the location of our playing keyboard. As you can see, it's not unlike a piano or organ. Here's our manual, our sharps and flats on tops, our white keys, and then down below our pedal board. We also have a terrific view here from the eighth floor. We have four balconies, and we can see all of Washington Park, as well as our beautiful state capitol building in downtown Springfield. 